The Earth is flat. Now before the conspiracy theorists get too excited, this isn't your average flat Earth video. This is real science. The Earth is flat if you're a particle traveling at 99.9999991% the speed of light. But just how flat is it? Let's do some math. According to Einstein's theory of special relativity, if you travel fast enough, like almost the speed of light, something crazy happens. Length contraction. From your point of view, distances shrink in the direction you are moving. So if you were zooming past the Earth at an insane speed, it wouldn't look round anymore. It would look squashed or flat. There is a formula for length contraction. Here it is. Let's break it down. L is the length of the object at relativistic speed. L0 is the length of the object at rest. C is the velocity of light. And V is the velocity of the object. Let's look first at the fastest man-made space probe. The current space speed record holder for the fastest man-made object is the Parker Solar Probe. This probe touched the sun. That's a story for another day, but the speed this probe reached was crazy. It was around 690,000 kilometers per hour. That's just 0.064% the speed of light. It's still super slow in comparison to light, but for us, that is really fast. So if this probe was traveling that fast towards the Earth, from its point of view, how thick would the Earth appear? Well, if we plug the numbers into the equation, we get 2.61 meters thinner than what it actually is. So if you were on the probe, the Earth would basically look no different at all. Okay, so the Earth is still round if you were going 191 kilometers a second. That's still really fast, but it's not quite fast enough. The Large Hadron Collider is in Geneva, Switzerland, and it can accelerate protons up to speeds of 99.9999991% the speed of light. Now, if light speed is equal to 1,079,252,848.8 kilometers per hour, then these particles are traveling at speeds of 1,079,252,839.1 kilometers per hour. If you do the math, that's only a difference of 9.7 kilometers. So these particles are only 9.7 kilometers off of traveling the speed of light. That is stupid fast. But back to the point of this video, if you were a particle traveling that speed, plugging the numbers into the equation from before, the Earth would appear to be 1.7 kilometers thick. That's only 0.0133% the thickness of the Earth from the perspective of a non-moving particle. That is crazy. So, is the Earth flat? Sure, if you're traveling at near light speed, but otherwise, sorry flat earthers, the globe is still a globe. Hey, thanks for watching this video. This was a fun thought experiment using math and science to determine the thickness of the Earth at different speeds. I hope you learned something new today and also I hope your mind was blown just like my mind was at how fast the Large Hadron Collider has accelerated particles. It's crazy stuff. But that is all for the video. If you did enjoy it, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.